In 2001, one of the best war dramas of all time premiered, and now over 20 years later, there are talks of rebooting Band of Brothers, however this remake cannot happen due to a very particular and tragic reason. Although it is now considered a staple of its genre, in 2001, Band of Brothers was a brand new miniseries created by Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, and Gary Goetzman. It followed the true story of Easy Company, a segment of the parachute infantry during World War II. Armed with a brilliant cast and expert filmmaking, Band of Brothers immediately wowed audiences. Nowadays, it is very common for older media to be rebooted or remade. Whether it is a franchise that has been redone over and over again, or a project that has been beloved and untouched for a very long time, Hollywood always has the intention of remaking it at some point. Usually, reboots are meant to show a new angle to a well-known story or simply evoke the nostalgia that the original movie or series provided. However, a reboot is not meant for every project. And when it comes to Band of Brothers, there's a very good reason why. A Band of Brothers remake wouldn't be the same without the veteran interviews. The real Easy Company is part of what makes Band of Brothers great. Although it wouldn't be difficult for Hollywood to recast Band of Brothers and remake each of its iconic moments, there is one vital aspect of the show that would inevitably be missing, the veteran interviews. Band of Brothers is mostly a fictionalized portrayal of real events, with actors playing the soldiers who made up Easy Company, but interspersed throughout the series are interviews with the real men, much older than they were during World War II. They not only put faces to the names audiences come to know and love, but they also provide important insights and context. Although the series has been lauded for its incredible camera work and storytelling, the inclusion of the real men of Easy Company shows just how much Band of Brothers is dedicated to accuracy. The creators were not simply looking for a good war story. They wanted to do justice to the real men who served in World War II. In this way, the veteran interviews bring a level of honor and respect that a Band of Brothers reboot wouldn't be able to achieve. The remaining members of the Easy Company have died since the miniseries debuted. Band of Brothers veteran interviews are now impossible to recreate. Easy Company Eagle's Nest One could argue that a truly dedicated Band of Brothers reboot could conduct new interviews, however this is impossible now. When Band of Brothers was made in 2001, many of the original members of Easy Company were alive and able to provide interviews. However, over 20 years later, all the men who served in Easy Company have passed away. That means that the interviews would be impossible to recreate, and new ones wouldn't be an avenue either. Once again, this sense of timeliness is what makes Band of Brothers so outstanding, and what inevitably hurts a Band of Brothers reboot. In reality, this fact of time continues to be a factor, not just for a Band of Brothers remake, but also for other Spielberg, Hanks, and Goatsman projects. Released in 2024, the creator's most recent project, Masters of the Air is considered to be on the same level as Band of Brothers, however as a result of when it was made, the series never got the interviews that Band of Brothers had. In this way, it was not able to be as good as its predecessors, not for lack of effort, but for lack of living historical figures.